Hey guys, well I've got this footage handy. How about a flashback vlog for today? This was the first time I drove by myself in California, and I was driving a big blue Eurovan named Buddy. Buddy the Eurovan. All right, let's go back to 2002. How do you work this thing? Mm -hmm. System Navigator. Take me to Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Productions, City of Valencia, California, 91355. Please proceed to the highlighted route. Oh man, I'm never gonna figure this out. Um, okay. So I'm supposed to drive now? I guess so. Brake on? Brake's on. So far so good, I'm not in the flowers yet. Fix those curtains in the back. Yeah. Alright, it's a little better. Alright, hold on, hold on, I'm coming, I'm coming. It's my first time ever driving in California. It's my first time ever driving a car that talks to me. Which also has a bed on the ceiling. I'll have to show you guys that later, it's amazing. This car actually has a bed. Ah. In a quarter mile, slight left turn. Okay. This is pretty cool. I like this. That's Courtney Cox's house. I don't know if you guys can see. Ah! Next slide left. Then oh. 1,000 feet later, left turn. Uh huh. It's half a mile. He talked to me. Alpine. Where is my destination? Yeah. Your destination is on the left. This? <sighs> okay. I am in Valencia, California. Behind me is. Studio 3, where they shoot Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, where I now work. It's my dream. I've got like butterflies in my stomach. Ah, they're fighting! Yeah. Be yourself, because they're gonna like your enthusiasm for the show and for the stuff you do. But don't be too excited, because then it'll just be annoying. Somewhere in between. Ah, that's the light speed Hummer from two seasons ago, right there. Over there, there's their savage cycles. I have my own parking space. It's red. Well, that concludes the first day of work, but there's bad news. Disney. Now that they own the Power Rangers, they're moving them to New Zealand next year. Shut up. Are you or are you not working? I mean, I need to know how to get home. Alright, what do I do when I get up here? Talk to me, damn it! I don't know where the f*** I am. What? Next right, then here? 900 feet later, right turn. Okay, don't get ahead of me. Alright, I make a right turn here? See, I don't even know where you're taking me because I didn't even give you a destination. You're just telling me go places and I have no f***ing clue if I'm going right or not. And that's really pretty. I want to go home. Next right. <laughs> I don't know where you're taking me. Now I'm going to want south, so I came here north. Is next right... Did you say next right? We're gonna try this again. The car's gotta be on but in park and brake in order for system navigator to work. Is the brake on? Brake's on. That, that wasn't easy to figure out. In a quarter mile, right turn. Well, that sounds more like it. Your destination is on the right. Your route guidance is now finished. Thank you. Day one complete. So 17 years ago when I say, you guys, who was I talking to? <laughs> there, there was no you guys. I, I don't know. I, I thought there would someday be an audience, but there was precisely zero people watching my, you know, what was referred to as home movies back then. Th there was no audience. It was just kind of funny looking back on that. You look back at some of these old videos and you wouldn't know that YouTube was still another three or four years off in the future, right? I think it's fair to say it was kind of a dream of mine to work on Power Rangers, and I remember how excited I was my first day getting there. My first day also being the same day that I learned that the show was bought by Disney and being moved to New Zealand for Ninja Storm the following year, which was kind of the end of that dream, following Wild Force. I was kind of bummed about that, and then I had never driven a car before that had a navigation feature, and a good thing to know about me is I am horrible with directions. So bad with directions. So it was such a lifesaver to have a car that actually had a navigation, especially driving in an unfamiliar huge place like California. And the, the set was about 31 something miles away from where I was staying. So that evening when I tried to go home, I didn't know that you had to have the brake on for the navigation to work because I'd never, I'd never had anything like that before. So the car's talking to me and I went in a big giant circle 
like the most ridiculous giant circle you can imagine <laughs> to get kind of back to where I'd come from because I couldn't, I couldn't tell where to take me, how to get home. So it was just taking me back to Power Rangers, but we just went like the most ridiculous long route. And I was, I was like freaking out a little bit because if the navigation wasn't working, there was nobody that was going to tell me how to get back home. I, I wasn't sure how I was... <laughs> How was I going to find, I, I could have uh, just slept over, I guess, and lived there, maybe in the parking lot. <laughs> oh, and I did promise that I would show you guys <laughs> the bed on, on Buddy, in Buddy. There were two beds, actually, there were a couple beds, upstairs and downstairs. What a great and ridiculous thing that was, right? There was a refrigerator and a dining table. That was like the coolest, ridiculous car. By 2005, Mia and I were living in that awful apartment over the street, and we just desperately wanted some quiet. So we had taken Buddy and we went to my aunt and uncle's land in Ojai that was just kind of, un no, no structures existed, just like land. So we would go there and kind of camp out just to have some nice quiet, a little bit, a little bit of quiet in Ojai. The camping out with Mia was fun. We did that several times actually. It is kind of interesting to think about what if I had had a YouTube channel or what if YouTube had existed back when I was in my teens or early 20s, like what would my content have looked like? It's an interesting thought process. Like could YouTube have altered my own history in any way and in, in what way for better or worse or just different? I think what I end up coming away with, like I can't imagine not having social media now. I'm kind of happy that it wasn't really a thing back then. I don't know, what do you guys think? Like I'm kind of happy that I went through college without MySpace or Facebook or YouTube or Twitter or any of that stuff. All right, I got distracted by 2002, I should end here. Uh, these are at GameStop, if you haven't gotten yours yet. Working on a couple of things for the other channel that I gotta get back to, so thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. If you haven't, I will always be back soon with many good videos. And, good night. <laughs> <laughs>